Hey guys, welcome to your career and finance reading for Aries. This is going to be for your June 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in your career and your finances, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you need to take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um Aries people that tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Aries. Aries and their career and their finances. What's going on with Aries and their career and their finances for June 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Aries. What's going on with Aries and their career and finances for June 2024. Look at the page of wands, Aries, Seal, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Four of Wands. Okay, some of you guys are studying right now. I feel like some of you guys are studying for, you know, uh, perhaps to become a real estate agent or something like that. Uh, some of you guys are or apprenticing or that you guys are in some sort of what is that? It, or that you guys are doing some sort of internship surrounding, you know, building your career around real estate or something with a home or something with like home insurance or something like that. Okay. So you guys are studying to do something, something where you will further your career. Now, okay. Make sure if you guys are studying for something, make sure that this is kind of, this, like, this is like a, a course that is recognized by like the real estate foundation you know what i mean so make sure it's like a legit course that you're studying because i feel like you could get scammed okay so be careful like online you know when you're applying for something make sure that it's the real deal because there's a lot of scams out there you guys gotta watch out for that okay so we have the justice card here some of you guys could be studying some of you guys could be studying law yeah some of you guys could be studying law law surrounding like home stuff you know or family law or something like that okay um we have a seven of cups and a six of wands here interesting i mean either you guys are apprenticing or internshipping for something in real estate or something in law okay you know and they feel like you know right now you guys have a lot on your plate and you feel like you guys are feeling really confident about handling everything that's on your plate right now okay i do feel like a lot of guys are students okay you guys are sort of like learning something here learning something here to further your career path all right with the page of wands aries Gil sag all right with the justice card leave for energy the page of wands and the five of swords the four of wands and the ace of wands here interesting now, some of you guys might have, you know, gone to a point in your career where you've gone as far as you could, and some of you guys could could be starting your own agency, perhaps your own real estate agencies, perhaps your law agency or something like that, or that you guys could be blending the two together. Together, You know, maybe you guys have a background in law and you guys are applying it to your, like, sort of like your real estate career, okay? So we have the Five of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. So this reading could be very specific for, for somebody here, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy, the Justice card. Why is the Justice card here in the Six of Pentacles, okay? Some of you guys have strong Libra energy in your chart. You guys are all about fairness here. So let's say if you guys do work in, you know, real estate, you know, in maybe the law department or something like that, you know, I, I do feel like you're, perhaps you guys are helping people in, you know, finding, you know, affordable housing or something like that. Uh, maybe some of you guys work in nonprofit. We have the Six of Swords here and the Seven of Cups. We have the Six of Wands here and the Queen of Wands here. Whatever you're learning here, whatever you're doing, this is going to excel your career here. This is going to move you up the career ladder. You know, people will see you succeeding. People will recognize your success here, all right, all right Aries? And they feel like, you know, 
uh, with the six of swords here, you know, I feel like this could take you, to, you know, this could open doors for other opportunities here for you. What else do we have here for Aries? What else do we have here for Aries? What else does Aries need to know, look out for work on when it comes to their career and their finances? With the eight of swords here and the two of wands, okay? Eight of swords and two of wands here. You know, moving forward, I feel like you have a lot of decisions to make here. Ten of pentacles and the three of swords. Interesting. Like, I feel like you guys could do a lot with this. Yeah, I feel like it has something to do with homes, you know, like family, like, you know, real estate law or, you know, uh, family law or something like that. Okay. Uh, but I do feel like perhaps, you know, I, I feel like when it comes to cases, like, let's say if you work on cases or something like that, it's important for you to discern which case you can take and which case you can't take, you know, what you can handle, what you can't handle. So this is about, you know, also boundaries too, having boundaries in work settings. All right. The Eight of Swords here. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. How about the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? The Two of Wands and the Eight of Cups. This is interesting. I feel like you guys are about to start something new here. Like I said, I feel like you guys succeeded in something, okay? And you feel like you guys want to start something on your own where, like I said, some of you guys could be starting your own ag agency. Some of you guys have learned everything that you could in your work situation so that you uh, you could apply to your business here, okay? So some of you guys are deciding to walk away from a work situation. Like, it's, it's kind of like it's time, you know? So I feel like, you know, in a way, your destiny is calling you or the next chapter in your life here. And I feel like you are moving towards that here, Aries. Uh, with, you know, with the judgment card, you, you know, you might be having this strong realization or this awakening that, okay, you know, I've gotten as far as I could, you know, in my work situation. Now I want to pursue something new. The Three of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Well, Ten of Cups and the Hermit Virgo energy and a judgment card and the lovers. This is going to be the best decisions that you could ever make for you here, for yourself here because I do feel like whatever you're about to pursue here, whatever you're about to start, I feel like you're going to be very, 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 very successful here. And, you know, I feel like your finances will significantly improve here too because you already have that following like you already have that client base so i feel like you know if you do start something on your own people will all gravitate towards you and you know and you know and and you know word you know word of mouth will get out so i feel like a lot of people will start trickling in will start coming in for you guys or towards you guys we have the judgment card and the lovers here yeah i feel like you're about to make the best decision that you are ever going to make in your life here because i really feel like it's going to really this thing you're starting here might far exceed your expectations here because I'm just seeing dollar signs for a lot of you guys. And I see you guys expanding a lot of your business to other areas, you know, perhaps in your city, in your state, in your country. Okay, so I'm getting like there's some sort of expansion that's happening here for somebody. All right, so Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.